And on the note of student debt, a new debt forgiveness program aims to put students who left Sac State early back on track to get their degrees. Here to chat with us live about the details of this new program and who's eligible is Brian Bedford. Brian, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. It's great to be with you. Let's talk about this new program. Uh, tell me a little bit more about it. What, what does it entail? So we're excited about the launch of Hornet Debt Reset. It's really just another tool in the tool belt of the effort of uh, an initiative that we're calling Hornet Attain, which is Sac statewide initiative to get folks that have either stopped out or dropped out of the institution to come back and complete. And so uh, what we're doing, the institution has committed $1 million to, uh, to waive fees uh, associated with people coming back and completing. So we're just really excited about the effort and, and we're looking forward to the response. And so you mentioned this $1 million, that's kind of the cap on the program, but how do folks qualify? What do they need to do to be able to qualify to apply? Absolutely, so the basic qualifications are folks need to have, uh, when they left the institution, have a GPA of at least 2.0. Um, they cannot be or have not been enrolled in the previous two terms, and they essentially left in good standing with the institution. Uh, those are the basic eligibility requirements, uh, and then you have to go through the application process. But um, again, we're excited to serve folks in this, in this way and, and hope that it, it's a small piece of helping folks come back and complete. You know, Brian, I read that this could potentially impact some 400,000 adult learners. Why is this so important right now? Well, it's so important to the uh, Sacramento region because we believe that educational attainment will really help our region in terms of putting Sacramento, in particularly on the map, as a smart city. Um, educational attainment is really attractive to prospective employers. Uh, the more BABS degrees that you have, um, the more attractive you are. And so, in addition to the personal uh, achievement, we believe that it's important to our region that we increase our educational attainment. And this is, again, this is one small piece and helping folks come back and complete. And I want to be clear here, you're talking about former students, so it's not like they could have attended another uh, institution and then they're coming back to Sac State. They would have had to be students there, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. This is about uh, former Sac State students. And talk about how long they have to apply for their program. Well, there is no min-max. We're going to keep this open until the funds run out. And so we've got $1 million that the institution has committed to this and um, you know the average debt is somewhere around eight hundred dollars or so so we're hoping for and expecting a lot of folks to apply for this and and come back and complete their education here brian bedford thank you so much for joining us this morning a lot of good information especially at a time uh, when a lot of people are thinking about you know student loan debt and uh, the government is talking quite a bit about that so i appreciate you being on to uh, talk more about this program this morning i appreciate you having me thank you